Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Face Friday. Um, for today's Face Friday, I thought I would talk about some of my favorite makeup products ever, which are sparkly liquid eyeshadows. Now, if you guys have been around on my channel, you know I love glitter and sparkles, and I thought this would be a perfect video to film right before New Year's, because New Year's is typically when you want to go on full glam with like your makeup and your outfit and everything. So, um, I'm going to share some of my favorite eye glitters with you guys. The first are these from the brand AOA um, from Shop Miss A. If you're unfamiliar with Shop Miss A, it is a online store. Um, they actually have a few locations in Texas of like actual stores, but they are a place where everything is $1. So these are um, what they look like. I'm going to go through the colors real quick. I actually got these for myself almost a year ago, so they're probably about to expire, but um, they do still sell them on their site. So, and what I love about these is like, they're not super glittery. They're more metallic. Um, and so if you're going for like a more like daily makeup look and you don't want something that's like super out there and super crazy, these are a nice option. These also, they blend really nicely like with a brush. Um, and part of that is because they are metallic and they don't have like big chunks of glitter in them. So it's really easy to make like a nice natural um, eyeshadow look with them. So I'm gonna quickly swatch these. So as you can see, they are very, very pigmented, but not super glittery. So if that's the look you're going for, these are really nice. I personally prefer the glitter, so I don't reach for these often. They are more on the metallic side. Um, but this first one up here, which is kind of like a white, I don't know how well you can see. This is in the color 5008, which is Thermo. And then the second one right here is in the color 5011, which is Kinetic. The third one, which is like this bronze right here, is in the color 5010 Acid. And then this like purpley one, which is almost like a du duochrome, like it's almost like purple and pink. I don't know how well you can tell, but it is in 5004 Wash. And then this last one, which is a pink, is in the color Hume. So those are the five colors I have. They actually have a lot more colors if you're looking for like a blue or a green or a black. Um, they have a lot of shimmery shades like these ones. And so these are um, one option, like I said, only a dollar. They're really nice if you're on a budget and for only a dollar, they're very, very high quality. Now moving on, I think I'm gonna try to go like price-wise lowest to highest. So now we have this e.l.f. and these are the e.l.f. Molten Eyeshadows. I have one in the color Brushed Copper, and this is actually what I'm wearing today on my lid. And this is very similar to the AOA from Shop Miss A1, in that it is not super glittery, it's more of like a metallic, but it blends out super well. Um, it's very pigmented, it's very, like, you can make it very opaque, so it's not super translucent. Not super glittery, a little glittery, but honestly more on the metallic side. And it goes on super well, like, it dries down, like, like, when it dries down, it looks and feels like a normal eyeshadow. It's not super chunky or uncomfortable um, or anything, and I believe this one is four dollars so not that bad of a price this one is also like if you need one immediately and you cannot wait for shipping you can get this one at like most drug stores these ones you're gonna have to order online unless you live in texas then you can go inside of an aoa or of a shop miss a store and shop for the aoa brand so next we have this makeup revolution eye glisten and it is a double sided this is in the color it's Fate, um, which is the champagne color. It also comes in three other colors. The elf one, by the way, also comes in um, a few other colors, but I just have that one color. Um, but this is the one color I have of the Makeup Revolution one, and what I love about this is it is so shiny. So um, one side is like a metallic side, one side is like a gold glitter, and the metallic side is so shiny, so pigmented. Look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see with these bright lights. But it's just, I love this metallic side. Um, it's This is easily becoming one of my favorite liquid eyeshadows, which I have a few high-end ones here, and so that's saying a lot, especially for the price because it's $10 and you get two sides. Next is this glittery side. 
So here's what the glitter looks like on its own. It's just a, like, it's very translucent. Um, it's like a clear gel almost with just like specks of glitter. There's no pigment to it, but um, my favorite thing to do is layer these. So let me do that real quick. I like to put the metallic side on, put the glitter on top, and it just looks so gorgeous. You get pigment and you get sparkle. And I don't know, here, can you see the three compared together? It's just so perfect. Honestly, I'll probably wear this one on New Year's. I've been wearing this one a lot um, just because it is so sparkly and you get like the two sides for the two options. And I absolutely love that. Next, now I'm not sure which one of these is more expensive. So, um, I'm just going to start off with the Cover FX. Now this is the only Cover FX color I own, which is in the color Amethyst, which is kind of a duochrome. It's kind of got like a purpley pink to it. It's very, very pigmented. And I actually don't use this a lot just because it's not a color that I would use a lot. And like I said, it is very pigmented. Um, it starts off a very like kind of see-through and then you can build it to make it more opaque oh yeah look at that you can tell you can see the duochrome look to it like it's got um it's like purple but then it also reflects like pink and blue and it's also got like some pink and purple shimmers it's just so gorgeous it's not very neutral pretty much all the eyeshadows i've shown up until this point are pretty neutral you can wear them with any color eyeshadow this one you kind of have to plan your eyeshadow accordingly but it is just so so gorgeous and this one okay it's full price is 28 dollars, so kind of up there um the stila ones i believe are actually cheaper so i kind of went backwards the price wise because i was going to do low to high um but it's just gorgeous. Now the Stila liquid eyeshadows, I have a set of mini three and then I have this big one. I think this big one is actually dried out. But a full size like this is normally $24 and these are some of my favorites. Um, this color is Wanderlust which yeah is dried out because I've had it for a really long time. I'm not really going to be able to swatch it much but it is like a gold and pink. I'm going to have to buy another one because it's just so so beautiful. I'm trying to swatch it the best I can, but it's got specks of gold and pink. You can't really tell. It's since it is dry, you just can't see like a true reflection of how sparkly it is and how gorgeous it is. These Stila glitter and glows seriously are so so sparkly. I love them so much. And then I have these mini ones. The first is Rose Gold Retro, which is another one that I love. It's got a nice rose gold color to it and this one's also kind of dried out i've been using these stila ones i think i've had these stila ones for like over a year but this one has a lot of pigment and also a lot of glitter a lot of chunky glitter which is what i love um i love glitter on my eyes i just feel like it makes my eyes pop i could wear glitter on my eyes every day but i know a lot of people like to save it for special occasions like new year's next i have kitten karma which is one of like the most popular stila liquid eyeshadows Oh, and this one actually is not dried out yet, so you'll be able to get a good look at how gorgeous they are. And honestly, like, you know how with the Makeup Revolution, I had to layer the metallic side and the glitter side? This is, like, all in one. You get the pigment and you get the glitter um, in one little tube, and it's just so gorgeous. Um, and so this is, like, a nice nude color with lots of gold glitter and then the last one i have of the stila liquid eyeshadows we have smoldering satin um let's see if this one's dried out nope this one's good too so this one is kind of like a purpley color with some i can't tell if it's gold glitter or silver glitter i think it's actually silver but it's again yeah i think it's silver and the camera looks more silver but maybe it's because it's a against like a cool tone eyeshadow instead of a warm tone eyeshadow but it's so gorgeous it's also like that purpley color just such a gorgeous color again this is one that like you have to kind of plan your look around more of it because it's not so neutral 
um, but it's just so gorgeous. The Stila Liquid Eyeshadows, in my opinion, are the best glittery liquid eyeshadows. Now, that being said, these Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Eyeshadows are a very, very close second. I've been actually using these all the time. The difference between these and every single eyeshadow I've shown you so far is that the glittery side has a brush instead of a doe foot applicator and the brush in my opinion like i was kind of scared of it first i wasn't sure if it would work but it actually makes the glitter so easy to apply now these are not super glittery like it says um in the name of the eyeshadow these are melted metals i'm drawing i'm painting this on with my left hand so it's not super great but it's just so opaque it does have a nice bit of sparkle in it but it is more of a um, metallic finish this was in the color pink champagne and then I also have the color bamboo hoops which I will swatch right now and these are just so easy to apply especially if you're doing more of a cut crease these are really easy to do a cut crease with because it's like just painting on liquid eyeshadow and so I feel like I have more control over the brush over I do a typical doe foot applicator now the downside to this is these are $25 um, but I never, ever, ever use the matte side. I purchased these thinking I would, thinking they would be good to do a cut crease. It's actually very hard to do a cut crease with the matte side because the matte, it's a doe foot applicator. Maybe if it were a, um, brush, like the metal side, it would be easier to do a cut crease with. They're not actually made to do a cut crease though. They're made to like blend, you put them on and then you're supposed to blend them in with a brush. I never use the matte side at all so I'm basically paying $25 to use half of the product. I really wish and like I still have maybe hopes that one day Huda will decide to sell the metals on their own as just metals without the matte side because like I said I never use the matte side and honestly I probably wouldn't repurchase these just for that reason because I'm only getting use out of half the product. Again, they are gorgeous though. They are super pigmented. They're super easy to use. Um, they have a nice amount of glitter. They are more, like I said, on the metallic side. It's not a blinding amount of glitter like the Stila liquid eyeshadows, but it's still a good amount. Um, and I, they are my second favorite for that reason. They still don't beat the Stila. The Stila are still the best. They still have the most amount of glitter. They still, as far as like pigment and glitter goes, they are still at the top for both, but the Huda ones are a close second. So that is it. Here's like a little, you know, to show both swatches on both my arms. You can tell, clearly tell I'm right-handed because these swatches look so more uniform than these swatches. But those are my favorite liquid eyeshadows slash liquid eyeshadows and eye glitters that I think would be good for New Year's. I think that this is the best way to get glitter on your lid. Um, I personally find sparkly like powder eyeshadows harder to use. I have a hard time getting the glitter to stay on my lid and so I like the liquid ones. These are just my favorite. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helped you maybe like if you're in the market for liquid eyeshadows, help you decide which ones you should get. And that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.